Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by for yet another video. I do appreciate that and as always I appreciate you. So what we have here says volcanic earthquakes at the Kinlayan surge at the Kinlayan volcano um, it should say surge to 1217 in the Philippines. Um, it says that the uh, Kinlayan volcano seismic network reached 1,217 volcanic earthquakes on December 14, 2017, an uptick from the already unusually high 578 recorded on December 13. It says, uh, wispy emission of white steam-laden plumes were observed coming from the summit crater. Um, it says, Fevox, this is how I'm going to pronounce the abbreviation, said about 800 PHT today. Uh, it says that the ground deformation data from the continuous GPS measurements indicates slight uh, inflation of the edifice since December 2015. Now it says sulfur dioxide emission was measured at an average of 687 tones a day on December 13, 2017, the last reported measurement. Paul Lannis, a science uh, research specialist at the Philippine Institute of Volcanology and Seismology um, Central Office, said that the Kalayan's volcanic activities are not normal, which is why the volcanic rema volcano remains on an alert level 2. Um, this means that the volcano is undergoing a moderate level of unrest. Um, I cannot, I never, I always forget what, uh, is it four levels or five levels that, uh, of volcanic uh, um, alert levels? I can't, I can't remember, so I do apologize. Um, if you if you kind of if you remember, I'm thinking it's four. Um, there's four different levels of, of you know alerts, but I could I'm probably wrong. But um, it says there is a probable intrusion of magma, a depth of which may or may not lead to a mag uh, magmatic eruption. It says, however, as long as you are not within the 2.5 mile permanent danger zone, there is nothing to worry about. Elaine has said. Now see that's not true. Because, yes, you might not be affected by the magma, but if this is a much larger eruption, you still got to worry about all the other stuff that comes uh, along with it. You know, like pyroclastic flows. Um, I mean, you know, obviously that has, but at the same time, what I'm saying is like the ash and, and, and the smoke that, you know, get released as well. I mean, that's still a danger outside the 2.5 mile hour zone, especially if it's a much larger massive eruption not saying this would be but to say oh if you're outside the 2.5 mile an hour zone you're you're safe is i think it's kind of wrong to tell anybody that's living around that area because you don't want anyone around that area right i mean that's just my opinions but it goes on to say the phil Ox reminded local government units and police that in that that entrance into the pdc zone is strictly prohibited due to further possibilities of sudden hazardous steam driven or phreatic eruption didn't I just talk about that I, I even think though outside of that zone you know you shouldn't even be around the volcano period that's that's where I'll just leave that at but it says pilots should also avoid flying close to the volcano summit as ejected from any sun phreatic eruption can be hazardous to aircraft now it says seismic unrest under the volcano started around August 18 2017 and continued increasing, forcing uh, Philbox to raise the alert level from 1 to 2 on Wednesday, November 15, 2017. It says that the last notable eruption uh, of this volcano started at about 1.47 UTC on December 9, 2017, and lasted approximately 10 minutes. The event ejected steam and dark ash, but was poorly observed due to clouds covering the summit region. It says reveling sound was re reportedly heard in... Uh, uh, Mag, Maganoi, Mag, Maganoi, sorry, La, Calis, La Castellina, and then thin ash also fell on uh, Sitio Guten to Guten Tubden, um, Area Isle, and La Carlotta City. Now it says on December 9th, the eruption was pre preceded by a resumption of degassing at the summit crater on 2233. For uh, 2234 UTC on December 8th, which was observed on September 16th. Now I actually uh, put up a video on that said event uh, a few days ago or last week. I can't remember, but I just wanted to show you here some of those pictures from that event. There, um, this was some of the the gassing and the the, the ash that uh, was ejected from this volcano. 
December. Okay. Now, so here's the timeline time lapse video. I'm not going to show this again because I showed that to you guys in the last video. And it's kind of hard to tell because you can see it's cloudy. Um, now, some of this is a mix of the steam and the ash cloud that, that did, did come out of that uh, volcano on the 9th. Um, but yeah, so the rest of this article I've already we already talked about um, in the previous video. But I just want to give you guys an update that the you know the volcanic activity, the the earthquake activity around this volcano has picked up significantly. I mean, basically it's doubled um, in just two days. Um, so again, this is something to keep an eye on. Um, there's possibly a much much larger eruption coming. I mean, this is just the story of many volcanoes around the world and actually I, I put up a video yesterday I didn't even mention this one and that's what I was saying in that video I think there was five or six uh, volcanoes that I talked about in the video that are becoming super active or at least becoming waking up and becoming active yet here's another one like I said in that video there's many many more around the world that seem to be waking up again um, and becoming more and more active so again I, I'm not looking for forward to 2018 as far as natural disasters and, and, and all and everything else because 2017 has been a, a pretty bad year it seems you know uh, and I'm talking about everything from hurricanes to wildfires to volcanic eruptions to, to everything that you can think of has been um, bigger stronger if you will um, record-breaking this has been a crazy year for weather related events and natural disasters and Honestly, 2018 might get worse, so we need to be prepared for that. But uh, do I, I really do appreciate you guys for supporting the channel and watching these videos. Um, you know, be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. And if you and always and be sure to turn on the bell notification too. I don't mention that too much, but if you'd like to get my videos as soon as they're uploaded, you know, check turn on the bell notification and you will. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.